We have this Allosaurus DNA cooking up, so the plan is to make an Allosaurus enclosure. That's going to be really flipping awesome. Um, I also did a lot more things off camera too. We expanded the Pelophosaurus enclosure. She's getting big. Like she is getting pretty massive all around. Um, I have all of these planted because I really like spruce trees. Uh, spruce wood rather. I think spruce wood is pretty, pretty flipping awesome. I have this little viewing thing here for the Triceratops. Oh my gosh, you look amazing. They did not look like that when I was building earlier. Oh my gosh, look at you. Look at you. Help me. Kill him. Oh. <laughs> I am invincible now. They look amazing. I didn't know that their colors changes, changed uh, that drastically when they grew. They are still loud, but looks so cool. Look at you. Look at you. That's amazing. Okay. So, as I said, our current objective is to get an Allosaurus enclosure built. I'm kind of thinking we'll just build it right here. Uh, just kind of, you know, utilize the space as much as possible. And we have a lot of spruce wood to utilize. I, I want to change it up from the, uh, you know, the, the stone brick looking stuff. So just make it look, look as different as possible. So far, this is what our perimeter will look like. Uh, I think this would be a sufficient amount of space for the Allosaurus so far. Uh, it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited. Okay, so our Allosaurus egg is ready to go. Achievement, Big Al. Love that. Love that. Amazing specimen right there, the big owl specimen. So, once we finish up this enclosure, which won't be too long at all because it's fairly simple, the uh, creeper, um, then we will place big owl, and yeah, it's all going to be awesome. Okay, and then we get the door in, and boom, bam. Here we go. Allosaurus. Enclosure. Only thing is, is we'll place down some trees and to, you know, just make it a little bit more lively in here, and let's get Allosaurus going. Now, I, want, I wonder what species this guy is. I wonder if it's, like, Europaeus, or if it's Fragilis, or, or what. You know, what, what kind of, um, what kind of Allosaurus are we talking about here? Acquiring minds like to know. Light it up a bit, so we don't... So light them up, 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 light them up, 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 I'm on fire! Oh, and I think that down there would be a nice spot to put some water once, once this, this fella's old enough. Because same issue with Triceratops. I don't really want to drown them. You know, that's sound great. Here we go. Uh, right about now. That was a little bit off. You look adorable. Wow, you uh, wow. That's a nice little model. And now that I know that they change a little bit when they grow, I wonder what you're going to look like when you're older. I don't know if I've ever seen the fossils in Archaeology Allosaurus. That is a relatively uh, new one. It's a female. Uh, another female dinosaur, untamed, but I was standing right there. I don't even know if uh, that has anything to do with it. There's also all of this information right here, if you want to learn a little bit more about, uh, you know, Allosaurus. Allosaurus is completely awesome. Recently, though, I've been making a lot of content that references Big Al, which Big Al is an amazingly complete Allosaurus specimen. I think that it is 95% complete, and a lot of it, a lot of you might know it from the Walking with Dinosaurs special known as the Ballad of Big Al, uh, to which it is portrayed as a male, and uh, it's a very tragic story indeed. Now, the interesting thing about that, and something I just recently learned about, is that it seems there might have been some medullary bone tissue present with Big Al. And if that is the case, then that means that Big Al would be a female instead of a male. And that is because medullary bone tissue is a reservoir that stores extra calcium for hard eggshell development, which means that Big Al was, you know, I had either laid eggs or was getting ready to lay them. And that would make Big Al a female. Um, which, as I've said in other videos, makes it very tragic because, you know, now you got eggs involved with that story of Big Al. Uh, Big Al died from a broken toe. Uh, at least that seems like the most likely cause of death. The uh, the middle toe is broken, like hugely so, and uh, there is signs of infection and something like that. You can't really hunt 
So that would hinder your ability to eat, and unfortunately that would mean that you pass on. Big Al is a very cool species, and I'm, I'm really glad we have Allosaurus now. That is an awesome addition to the park. We have a lot of parks going on recently. Oh yeah, I gave the Allosaurus this kind of, this, this little, uh, little, um, thingamabob, this little, I can't think of the word, the room, like a little, little den. Oh, wow. Jeez, kind of looked like you were coming after me there for a second. Yeah, I gave, I gave this to her to kind of just chill and hang out, kind of make this look like it's a real animal living in here, you know? And I, as you, as you see, I have expanded it a bit. So now she has a little bit more space, but as you can see, Dilophosaurus is a lot bigger than it was in the movies. Um, so that is quite, quite terrifying. Here's also some, uh, some information about Dilopho oh, Dilophosaurus too. If you want to pause and read that, go and get some about Triceratops if you want that too. Here's the info about old three-horned face here. Very cool. You guys look so cool, by the way. Yeah, so I think that is a wrap on this episode. If you guys have any suggestions of which creature we should hatch next, actually, I should go and look at the DNA so you guys can get an idea of what we have. We have all of this right here. There's some uh, Pachycephalosaurus. We got Therizinosaurus, Leopleurodon, Compsognathus, Cytopati, Sarcosuchus, T-Rex, Allosaurus again. Uh, we could probably put that one in there too. Uh, Confuciusornis. Mosasaurus, Nautilus, which probably not, but Spinosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Tiktaalik, uh, Meganeura, and, and this one that I always struggle to pronounce for some reason. I don't know why. So if you have any suggestions of which ones we should do next, then be sure to let me know, and I would happily create that enclosure. But in the meantime, I have stone tablets. So we can place this stuff up, and we can get ourselves some... Ooh, yeah, T-Rex. Okay. So, this one... Yeah, when you uh <laughs> when you analyze tablets or the the relic scraps you can get tablets and they offer nice little decorations kind of like dress up our walls a little bit is that hero brian i haven't heard of hero brian in a while that looks like hero brian that one again i don't think, can, I don't think there's too many especially in the way of uh dinosaur side of it what is going on there that looks terrifying i don't know if i want that above my bed i don't know if i want any of these above my bed Look very terrifying. I'll have that one above my bed. <laughs> oh, look, they got something in the eyes. Very cool. By this point, I'm kind of just going crazy. I kind of like look like an obsessed scientist from, from one of those movies, you know, uh, where it's like I got stuff like this all over the place, all over where I live. Yeah, fine. There we go. Uh, I work hard to make this house a home. I, I don't think I mentioned it yet either, but I, I placed this Stegosaurus fossil down. Um, so that's there now. Yeah, be sure to let me know which one you'd like to see next. And that is pretty much all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, have an awesome day.